Next, we'll build our three to one Z rig with a change of direction. We'll start with our figure eight at a bite down by the load. Fish hooking a carabiner all the way through, locking it down and backing off quarter turn. Continuing up the rope, I will place a PCD, ensuring that the arrow is pointed down towards the load. Placing the rope inside the PCD and locking the pin into place. Ensuring it comes all the way out through the other side. This PCD must sit towards the inside of my system. Taking a carabiner and fish hooking through and rotating it up towards my anchor point. As I continue up the rope, I'll create a bite at the top of my rope by the anchor point. Opening the top two swivels on my double pulley 90 degrees. So that bite can sit inside, rotating only, only the center swivel back into place. As I follow the rope down, I will create another bite just above where my carabiner is. Opening my single pulley 180 degrees, placing the bite inside the pulley and rotating it back into place. I will open my carabiner and drop the pulley inside, locking the carabiner down and backing it off a quarter turn. As the rope comes back around to the top of the anchor, I will create another bite, rotating my double pulley 180 degrees to place the bite inside the pulley and rotate it back into place. Taking my double pulley and placing it in the carabiner at my anchor point, locking it down and backing it off a quarter turn. My other PCD will stay on my knot line, the same line as my other PCD is on, ensuring the arrow is pointed down towards the load. Setting the rope inside the PCD, and placing the pin, ensuring it comes all the way out to the other side. I need to engage the PCD to rotate it to the outside so it does not become entangled in my pulley. Taking a carabiner and fish hooking through my PCD, rotating it up towards my anchor. Because my PCD is sitting on the bottom line, my basket hitch must sit to the back side of the pulley. So I'll create my basket hitch, routing it through the back of the pulley, and dropping the bites down into the carabiner attached to the PCD, locking it down and backing it off a quarter of a turn. Because my PCD is on my bottom line, I need to ensure that my prusiks sit to the back of the pulley as to not create an X or cross in the system as it operates. If my PCD was on the top line when I build my system, then my basket hitch would have to go to the top of the pulley. In order to check the system, I need to grab onto the haul line and the carabiner where my load would be attached. Pulling on my haul line, ensuring the rope runs freely through the pulleys. As I release the haul line, the top PCD should bend the rope, stopping my descent. The second PCD is meant to move freely throughout the system in order for me to reset the system as many times as needed until the load reaches the desired destination.